video I wish I had to watch when I first started getting into wrestling. So I'm going to make it for you. So there's going to be three steps here. This is the beginner that you've just found out about WWE within the last six months. Then we have a six months to the year fan and then we have a fan that's after a year. These are easy ways to learn about the WWE slash WWF that will actually be pretty fun and entertaining that you wish you may know about. So if you're first getting into wrestling, there's a thing called Monday Night Raw and Tuesday Night Smackdown. If you want a fun fact, Smackdown used to be live on Thursday nights and then they switched to Friday night. Smackdown wasn't always a live show. When I first getting into wrestling, it took six months to figure out there was even a Monday Night Raw. So Monday Night Raw airs on Mondays. It's going to be 8 to 11 on the USA Network. SmackDown is 8 to 10 on the USA Network Tuesday nights. These shows, there are different competitors on both shows. SmackDown has its own roster and Raw has its own roster. There's different belts for each show as well. There's a WWE Champion for both shows. There's a Tag Team Champion for both shows. The US title is only on SmackDown and then and the Intercontinental Championship is only on Raw. Also, Raw has a cruiserweight division, which SmackDown does not have. So once you learn those little tiny fun facts about the WWE, the next thing I suggest for you to do if you're just getting into wrestling within the first six months is rewatch The Road to WrestleMania. Now, if you don't know what The Road to WrestleMania is, that's the Royal Rumble, which is the last weekend in January, all the way into WrestleMania 34, which just happened last weekend, April 7th, and New Orleans. So if you do not have the WWE Network and are willing to spend $10 a month, or you can try your free trial, I highly suggest doing that. It's free for 30 days. You have every pay-per-view that WWE has ever put on at your hands to watch. You also have specials that talk about the Monday Night Wars, the Attitude Era, pretty much any time of wrestling that you may want to learn about. Now, if you don't want to get the network and you're just getting into wrestling, I suggest going on YouTube. There will be uploaded a lot of matches from last year's WrestleMania, which is WrestleMania 33 in Orlando. You might want to check those out as well. But I suggest if you're just getting into it, you're going to check out the Royal Rumble, Elimination Chamber, and Fastlane in this year's WrestleMania. Check on WWE's YouTube page first. You're going to find all the promos for those matches and little pieces of Raw and SmackDown from all those weeks. And if you want to watch the match yourself, I'm sure someone has illegally uploaded them on YouTube at this point. So now to get into the fans that have been on for over six months and are headed towards the year mark. This is where I'm going to tell you that you need to learn about the Attitude Era. Now you don't have to, but if you go to any wrestling event, a lot of fans are going to bring up the Attitude Era to you. The Attitude Era took place in the 1990s. They had a competition against WCW, which is a whole nother wrestling brand. Now, there's during that time, you had people like DX, Shawn Michaels, Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Rock, Chris Jericho, a lot of big name wrestlers that you still hear people talk about. Ric Flair was kind of part of the Attitude Era, but he's more of the 70s and 80s, so he didn't take as much of a play into that. I highly suggest just looking up the Monday Night Wars on YouTube. If you don't want to do that, there's a wonderful compilation on the network, the Monday Night War. Now there's going to be about 12 episodes, I believe it is. Each episode's around 45 minutes long, but it goes into very much so detail about a certain year during the Monday Night War. You're gonna learn so much about that time period. Now I say that you might want to know about this because a lot of fans are going to bring up the Attitude Era and you don't want to feel like you're left out. Now, if you want to stick up to date to the time period that we are now, I suggest the easiest way is to take your favorite wrestler right now. I don't care who it is, if it's Daniel Bryan, AJ Styles, Nakamura, whoever you want to pick. Go on YouTube or the WWE Network. Those are the two spots I'm going to be talking about because this is the easiest way to learn about wrestling. And you're gonna type in their names and just put in match afterwards. Now you're gonna click on one of their matches. I don't care if it's versus Bray Wyatt or Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, Dean Ambrose, just click on any match. 
and watch it. Now, you're going to have a look at another person. You may have never heard of Dean Ambrose before because he's on injury right now. Now you know about another wrestler. Now you can look up. Now, maybe you love Dean Ambrose. You watch that match, you're like, oh man, this guy's great. Now you look up Dean Ambrose. Now it's going to bring you into a whole other wrestler that you may not learn about. And then you can look up his matches. Well, then we'll introduce you to another wrestler. This is the easiest way to introduce yourself to new wrestlers that you may have not heard about. That is a fun experience. My last tip is for people who've been watching for over a year. At this point, hopefully you know what the big four pay-per-views are. The Royal Rumble, WrestleMania, SummerSlam, and Survivor Series. Now I suggest that you go a couple years back and watch a couple of them. And you know about the Monday Night Wars at this point. But now, I suggest to you to look about the 2000s. Read a little bit into the 80s with Hulk Hogan, the Ultimate Warrior. This is the time where you really want to spread your horizon about wrestling. You want to learn a little bit from each time period. Now, you don't want to consume it all at once because that's going to be a lot to take in. But I suggest that maybe once a month you watch a match from the 80s. Or if you really love a pay-per-view, like you're thinking to yourself, Man, I like this extreme rules stuff where people use chairs and tables. Look up TLC matches, which is a table, ladder, and chair match. You're going to find the first ever match, which is Edge and Christian versus the Hardy Boys versus the Dugley Boys. Now, maybe you've never heard of the Dugley Boys before. Then that brings you into a whole nother world. Now, at that point, you should be fairly familiar with the WWE a year in. Now, this is where I'm going to lay some stuff on you that if you think it's too much, you don't have to do it. Now, into the history of WWE, there's been two other brands, ECW and WCW. ECW is Extreme Championship Wrestling. If you love Extreme Rules pay-per-views, Elimination Chambers, Hell in a Cells, anything that is violent, I suggest checking out ECW. But just a warning, it is very bloody, it is very violent, there's a lot of times where it's not PG. So if you're into this PG, you know, little era that we're in now, please do not check out ECW. That's going to be too much on you. Now, if you really love the Attitude Era and you're like, man, that was really good, you need to check out WCW. Now, I do not think that you should check out the last years of WCW. That's where the company failed. You want to check them out in their peak. You want to check out the NWO, the Wolf Pack. The beginning of the cruiserweight division there. Because that's where smaller men started to be able to show off more of what they can do. So overall, these are my tips on how to learn more about the WWE if you're just becoming a fan. Let me know if I helped you in any way down in the comment section below. Make sure to like this video and subscribe because as always, more to come.